Hi, and welcome to the Assembly Lines Podcast. I'm Chris Torrance. So today is the third and hopefully final video in our Freedom Calculator series. Harry Edwards has fixed all of the remaining problems with the calculator. So let's go and see how he did it and then try out some sample problems. is it starts out good morning <laughs> we're going to start are we yeah okay i started in the front page of this thing and went through everything clear through from addition subtraction multiplication and division so consequently there's a lot of things in between that we covered and a lot of things we didn't cover because the fact that we can't get at it because it's down in there someplace but the major part of what we did was just kind of follow the steps, what this was. We'll start out with this, because that was the motor. This is what they call the governor. And the governor is, of course, on the motor, the little motor. The governor is back down in there. This is where the governor is, down in here. And the only reason I'm showing you that, I had to replace that governor, because the other one... It was, looks like this, and these points get burned out. They have points in them. See the hole in that? That one was bad. That was all burned out. That's why it goes tunk, 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 tunk. So what happens is when you replace this, this little tiny screw right here, you can adjust the speed of it. And it says in the book, it should run between 495 and 500 revolutions per minute. So I now have that one set at 487. So it gives us about the right speed. Because you get it too fast, the numbers just twirl. They don't have time to do what they're supposed to do. And if it's too slow, well, it takes you forever to get anything done. We originally, as he already has on film, the fact of what happened to it this last time, when it made such a terrible noise mm -hmm. and all of that. Here's a little drive gear which you can't see from here. You could probably see it from the top over here. But anyway, this little gear has got all the teeth knocked out of it due to Mr. Chris's ability to make new gears. The so you've got extra printing. gears now. Yep. You're good for another 100,000 miles. <laughs> <laughs> So it's amazing that they can make these. That'll make it run. And when we start doing this, you got to adjust these places, which they were not in adjustment. Mm -hmm. Just where it starts on all these keys. Mm -hmm. And you were, you were adjusting that last time by bending one of those pieces of metal, uh -huh. right? Or forming it. I did. Which one? Form is the word. Form. Yeah. yeah, I know, I know. See, I learned something. <laughs> yeah, look at it. And that's what I found a lot of little stuff. Yeah. That this thing was not working right. But I found out by going through these adjustment stuff as we go along the pages, and when you really get to looking at this, the clearances, the, the distances and the settings is so critical. Mm -hmm. They go from point zero 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 to point zero five. That's yeah. so much. That's not much leeway. No. So I got out my car feeler gauges and I got me a zero zero two, <laughs> and uh, so that's what I set it at. That was the closest I could come. It is hard to get some of these. Yeah. They're so critical. And the beginning of this thing, which you don't really stop to think about it, the process, the way this thing works. Plus negative, plus negative, plus negative, plus negative, plus negative. Mm -hmm. And if all of that doesn't correlate properly, your dials are not going to turn right. Mm -hmm. And that was another problem that we had. And I marked in, that's the one that when I made that adjustment, the end of that thing broke off. Where this little guy is right here, there's that stud they're talking about. Mm -hmm. 
There's where that two thousandths clearance is, right here. Mm -hmm. Right there. And when this happens, this little guy, that's what he does. And this, when it broke off, it broke off right there and it went right underneath it. <laughs> so, you can see my illustrious solder job, mm -hmm. where I took this all off, and I've got that other little video that where I did this, yeah. how I did it. All this had to come off. And I simply soldered, I had a spare part, mm -hmm. and I cut the end of the spare part off, mm -hmm. and I made me a new piece for it. Normally, you would push the key, mm -hmm. it would stop at that tab, and it has to be instantly that that moves up yeah. and sets your numbers mm -hmm. on your dial. It yeah. will not do that. Interesting. Not so by doing it yeah. like it was made to do. I think it was not getting done in the correct time mm. to enter the numbers. Hmm. So I frustrated about a week and a half over that. But anyway, it's simple to do. We move it over to plus, plus it in, take our one out, and put your divisor in, and you're done. Yeah. Nobody needs to know that but us three. <laughs> I didn't have really major any problems with the multiplier or anything. All that seemed to work pretty well. Um, it was all had to do with the crazy division. Mm -hmm. And the crazy division reverts back to plus and minus. Yeah. So we were kind of starting wrong when we did all this before because I was anxiously looking at division problems. How, when you were when you were doing all this, how much of it kind of came back to you? Like oh, yeah. from, yeah. you know, 40 yeah. years ago or whenever? Yeah. I mean, so you, you kind of remembered something? It wasn't just no. like looking at the manual? And, no, no, no. Yeah. No, that's... no, when you work on them for 11 years, you learn a little bit. You know, and you, you remember quite a bit of it, but when you take 57 years in between all this, well, then that's yeah. kind of a different yeah. story, too. That adjustment that's down in here that I guess I really can't show it to you, but... Um, that was not quite right either. So that yeah, adjusted the, the yeah. that adjusted the position yeah. of those teeth in or yeah. something, or it adjusts the position of this gear here, right, to come out enough to cut because right, like normally you see it's underneath that yeah. secondary disc. Yep. You see what it's doing? Yeah, I can see what it's doing. Yeah. This guy comes out to catch those two teeth yeah. on the yeah. secondary disc. <laughs> when I'm poking, I think I better like, send my tools home with it. <laughs> when I'm poking I, machines for long enough, I usually figure out most well, of it. Well, you know what? Work. It's really pretty basic when you really think about it. Once you start looking at how yeah. the gears match yeah. up yeah. and thinking about like, what it's all supposed the parts to do. that go together, yeah. then they yeah. all work yeah. together. You got a good head. Yeah. I started taking things apart when I was like five, so... Well, my brother and I, that's how we got yeah. tearing up stuff. I think I told you that. We took mm -hmm. watches apart, Dad's watches apart, couldn't mm -hmm. put them back together, but we took them apart. 9,450-some... Moving parts. Total parts. Total, total parts. Pieces. Gotcha. Parts. Parts, parts. All of these Almost little pieces. 10, all these guys have got numbers. Wow. They all have... They all have serial numbers. Let's start with this real easy. Okay. Like I say, take it step by step by step by yeah. step. And these will come to you easy once you... Yeah. Three, nine, zero, seven. Yeah. Hey. Yay. 39.07. Woo. Excellent. <laughs> Don't you love it? Yeah. This is the, this is the key yeah. little key the thing little that trick. we're gonna nobody else is gonna know. Touch okay. touch your inner div inter dividend. Just touch your push your inner dividend. Fine. Okay. What do you got up there? Nothing but a one. Nothing but a one. Subtract the one out. Put in your number now. Then plus it in. You just entered the dividend. Okay. Got it. Yeah. Got it. That's what that key should have done in one operation rather mm -hmm. than what we just did. As Harry pointed out, the enter dividend key still isn't working properly, and he was unable to diagnose what the problem was, but thought it was somewhere deep inside where he couldn't get at it. So normally, if you entered a number, say 144, hit enter dividend, it should have put that into the top. However, even though it moves the carriage over, it doesn't actually enter the number. 
Nevertheless, there is a workaround. What we can do instead is hit the enter dividend key to move the carriage over to the correct decimal position. Then we enter our number, say 144.38, hit the plus key. But it's put a one down here indicating one number has been added. And we don't want that to be part of our answer, so we hit the minus key to get rid of that. Now we're ready to do our division. So now let's divide by, say, 12.00. We hit the two division keys. And it goes ahead and gives us our answer, 12.031 with the correct remainder of 0 .008. So even without the enter dividend key working properly, we can still go ahead and do division using that simple workaround. So as you can see, we got the Freedom Calculator back up and working smoothly. And so now we can go ahead and put it back into the Media Archaeology Lab in Boulder for people to play with and enjoy. I'd like to thank Harry Edwards for all of the hard work that he put into fixing the calculator and also to Libby of the Media Archaeology Lab for being the guinea pig on trying out all the example problems. I'd also like to thank all of my Patreon supporters who make this video series possible. If you're interested in becoming a supporter, you can find the link in the show notes. So once again, thanks for watching.